Engineer 775 back on the job. We are putting in 20 kW. We are we want to put in 40 kW, but we're not quite sure how we can do that because the rules are that you can't put in 40 kW on a residence. So we have a little bit of heartburn and heartache here on this job. So we're gonna go ahead and put in a one array and feed the house, net meter and all that, and then we're gonna have to figure out what to do. And if you know of any good reason why we can't have 40 kilowatts on our own house, it's not my house, it's a customer, let me know. Okay, concrete truck's on the way. Just set up a, 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 a 2V by 36. So there's 72 panels going on this Pretty good size, just shy of 20 kW. Shutter ground mount. And everything strung, plumb, level, square. And uh, this is an amazing southeastern array. Got a nice horizon down there. Sun comes up and misses all of this all year round. We do have some trees on the west side, but the owner owns that and is willing to plans on doing some clearing but right now we have a southeast array about 160 degrees not too bad 20 degrees off the south with this much solar we can do some we can do some battery charging back feeding okay a lot of electrical work I'll show you that in a bit all right we're set up on our next job and this job is a fun one we are going to build an amazing power wall here Johnny and Larry are ripping and tearing and we're going to reside this wall here and we get to start with clean slate new panels new transfer switches dual transfer switches everything's double on this project two chillers two guys down there two beef patties, two beef patties special sauce and uh, we went, Larry rigged up the generator so we could have some backup power for the uh, the house on some of the 220 loads we also have the the VSP solar generator we temporarily set up on this work site so they can keep their food and everything going and I'll tell you more about that in a different video but that's pretty cool silent job site generator and we're just using some drop cords now to keep their freezers and food and allow them to stay in their house while we are dismantling everything and rebuilding so we're putting up a 20 kW solar to run these chillers and make ice ice bank storage so I just want to start this thing see if this thing runs they're gonna get mad at me <laughs> um, shouldn't help myself breakers are off I think well here let's look right their old 20 kW generator we moved it used to be down there we just temporarily hooked it up you can see there's some Rube Goldberg stuff going on here um, but that way the people that live here can, can stay here while we're working on their place so we spent a little bit of time on that but they're very happy for it okay let's get back to work Johnny Valentine live from another Gain Gadgets. Solar Slash Engineer 775 Multi Aqua install. We've got posts in the ground. We've got pipe in the ground. We got over a yard of concrete in each post. They're set. They're plumb. They're level. They're square. They've had the laser on them. They've been torqued with spec. Tomorrow we're going to be burying more pipe. Join us, folks, because we're going to be getting it. Okay. okay, day two of the which was once a 40 kW job has been cut down to 20 for now due to inter interconnect issues. But uh, 
regardless we're working like crazy to get this thing built this is uh, a system that is going to go uh, be filmed on next week on this old house ask this old house with PBS and we're going to be powering um, a chiller but the the main reason for the show is thermal energy storage for residents thermal energy storage is done on an industrial scale and we're looking at doing it at a residence level so we're wanting to make two 45 ton ice banks off of solar energy so that you can uh, basically run all your climate control through your domestic hot water everything else for free well not free but off of solar so we got a lot of trenching got a lot of long distance home runs one 600 foot one 500 foot and good thing for 380 volt systems uh, we can do it all on number eight wire all right Huh, good morning folks. Here we are at our epic wire pull. This is uh, basically four home runs and our ground. And we lift this up and conduit we've got... <laughs> anyway, it worked pretty good. We got a 515 foot pull. Number 8 THHN going into this little baby gutter and we're using these DC disconnects which are four poles so we can get uh, we can get the uh, entire array through these two DC disconnects all right waking up here but it's a little tired we got the film crew coming on Tuesday and this thing has got to be running so we're gonna finish the wire wire pull and get this system um, optimized with the PV links got to put these uh, Where's my PV links? Aha, they're in here. There we go. These are the optimizers, the 2500 watt substring optimizers. We have 72 panels and they're gonna be in groups, uh, eight groups of nine in series connected to the optimizers through, we have some really nice uh, shoals uh, inline fuses and we have some MC4 um, Y connectors somewhere around here ah, They're in that box right there. Okay So hopefully the rain will hold off and we'll get this thing whether it rains or not. We still got to get it done So, okay, well This is a uh, wire pull. I am hoping it's gonna be so close. These are 500 foot reels and uh, I'm hoping we can we can do it. If not, it's going to be quite embarrassing. Okay, engineer 775 going away. Epic wire pull about to happen here. We've got nine home runs. We're going to be pulling them 500 feet to bring down 20 kW of solar. Yes, yes, yes. This goes on forever. So. I got to do as much as I possibly can do with the tractor. So the tractor's around. I'm going to use it. We had to put a pull box in here and we just vacuumed. We put a little trash bag on the other end and suck it through. So this is our, our light pull string. We'll switch over to the mule tape and do our pull. And then we'll make our junction in here. Probably going to use split bolts to make our junction. We've marked the conduits here. This is the first array. And then the other two pipes will be the other 20 kW. So we'll make our junction here. We'll fill this thing with gravel so it keeps the junctions always uh, dry. And, and then we'll get ready to pull our wire through and um, get her hooked to the uh, rebus on the pike inverter.
Here are the thermal storage tanks. We got the ice tank up front and the heat tank storage in the back. This house had four electric water heaters. We removed three of them and put in place one of these HTP hydronic water heaters and lots of copper. We got some controls in here. Um, pump controls. There's a circulating pump that pulls off the main loop. There are two coils, two sets of heat exchangers in this tank, and cold water is coming in from upstairs in two locations. And we have a let. Then we we left one electric water heater as a backup and so it can be isolated if there's ever a problem with the chillers again the chillers the hydronic chillers are heating all the water while it's making air conditioning and dumping heat this is one of the heat dumps it's this 119 gallon HTP hydronic tank so that's pretty cool so all the heat that would have been exhausted to the atmosphere is being put in this so if you stand out next to your heat pump and feel all the heat going off into the air we don't like that. We'd rather use it for showers and all of our hot water uses. So, anyway, just a quick little video showing uh, another way, another use for the chiller and hydronics. Okay, so I'm here to make sure that the solar is running for this Ask This Old House photo shoot. Here's our system we're showing off. Showing off the chillers, showing off the inverters. I gotta double check and make sure they're working. Pardon the bad angles. I'm not a film crew. Alright, it's good, it's early in the morning. And we're making 6kW on this one. We're making just shy of it on this one. Let's see that or not. Nice. So we're bringing down the solar. Chillers are working. We're making hot and cold water. So it all came together last minute. So we're doing good. Okay, a lot of electrical went into redoing this wall. I'll put a before picture inserted in here. So this is kind of a catch-all for all the outdoor AC loads and sub panels to barns and buildings AC disconnect for this inverter AC disconnect for this inverter emergency stops for all the inverters the main 200 amp panels two on either side of the meter base critical loads panel critical loads panel and there are two more of these in the house so we have four inverters you see the two here and there are two in here